Okay, so we've got this integral involving lots of factors of sines and cosines. So this question is essentially going to be remembering the trig identities. And to use them, I'm going to start off by simplifying slightly so we can see where we need to use them. I'm going to expand these brackets out and I'm just going to factor out the power of 4 here. So we can write this integral as the sine of x times cosine of x. And then I'm just going to write this as all to the power of 4. So I've just factored the power of 4 here. And then if we expand these two brackets out, this is actually a difference of two squares. So we're going to be left with cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x dx. And now we can see this term is exactly cosine 2 of x. And then this first term, we can express this in terms of sine of 2 of x. And then we get something we can integrate. So let's just revise our trig identities. We have sine of 2 of x. This is the addition formula. Sine of 2 of x equals 2 sine of x times cosine of x. And then we also have an addition formula for cosine. So cosine 2 of x, this is equal to cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. And it's nice because this is exactly um, this term here. And we can also see this term here is actually half of sine of 2 of x. So if we just divide this first equation by 2, we have a half and then the 2 cancels with the half. So we have sine of x times cosine of x is a half sine 2 of x. So we can just go ahead and sub these in. So we have the integral of half times sine 2 of x, all of this to the power of 4. And then we just replace this by cosine 2 of x dx. So now we have a sine term raised to a power and we have its derivative next to it. So we can actually integrate this. And to make it a bit simpler, we're just going to use a substitution. So we're just going to substitute this term in here. So let's let u equal to this term. So u equals a half sine 2 of x. And then if we differentiate this, we have du equals, we have a half times uh, derivative of sine is cosine. So we have cosine 2 of x. And then using the chain rule, we have to differentiate inside this bracket here. So the derivative of 2x is just 2. So we get another 2 at the front, and this is going to cancel with the half. And then we need a dx here. So if I just simplify, the half is going to cancel with the 2, so we can just rub these out. And we have cosine 2 of x, which is exactly this term. So we get a very nice substitution. So this integral is just the integral of u to the power of 4 du, because cosine 2 of x dx, that just is replaced by du and then this bracket is replaced by u. And we know how to integrate this, we just raise the power by 1 and then divide by the new power. So we have u to the power of 5 divided by 5. And we always have to add plus c. And so the last step of this question is just to replace u by the function we defined in terms of x. So just replace u by half sine 2x. And we have half sine 2x, 2x all to the power of 5, and then we have 1 over 5 term at the front, plus c. And as a last step, just to simplify even more, we can use our relation up here, where a half sine 2 of x is actually equal to sine of x times cosine of x. And this is actually the solution that appears in the answers. So this is equivalent to 1 over 5 times sine to the power of 5 of x times cosine uh, to the power of 5 of x plus c. So this is our answer.